Hey, it's Sam. If you're watching this video, then you probably want to know how to improve your entrepreneurial mindset or really begin to have one. Well, stick around because I have a tip for you. On my channel, I always release videos on digital marketing and passive income strategies, so consider subscribing. Also, if you want, you can click on the link below to get access to my recession-proof business model that will teach you how to build an online business from the ground up. So don't worry if you have zero experience because you'll get the best training that will make you the top market. Great, let's get to the content. So you probably watch a lot of entrepreneur videos and you, you've probably come across a lot of people uh, just showing off their new cars and their mansions or wherever they are, they're, they're living or they're, they're able to travel. Well. The reality is, maybe they are. We'll never know. But here's the question. How much do you think you're worth? No matter what answer you give me, it's going to be wrong. If you say you're, you're worthless, you're wrong. If you say you're worth $10,000, you're wrong. If you say any low number, you're wrong. Because you have the potential to go beyond and further than what you think you can do. And if you give yourself a huge valuation of maybe $10 million, well, the thing is you have to prove it to yourself. You don't have to prove it to me, but you got to prove it to, else, to, to yourself. Do you really have $10 million? Do you really have a hundred million? Or are you really able to, to reach that? If so, prove it to yourself. Ultimately, you're the one that decides what you're worth. And depending on your mindset, that could either drag you down or bring you up if you want to succeed if you if you want to reach that number you had in mind think about it plan it out make sure you know how to achieve it because that's what i did when i do affiliate marketing when i started affiliate marketing i had no i had no leads but i learned step by step on how to achieve my goal and it takes time it takes it takes years it, it took me it took me seven to eight years to to get to where i am right now and I'm living really comfortably. I don't have to worry about prices. Uh, the inflation doesn't really, doesn't really, I, that's, doesn't really bother me. My car takes premium 93 gas in the U.S. and that's okay. And that was the person I planned to to become. Someone that doesn't really need to look at prices. Someone that doesn't really look for sales anymore. But of course, I, I do it occasionally when when uh, there's Black Friday or, Pro or Prime Day. But that's besides the point. I do that for recreation if, to see if I can bulk order a bunch of stuff I don't need. That's the thing. When you put your mind to it, you can achieve it as long as you actually take action, as long as you do the things you plan to do. Take accountability of yourself. Remember the three C's I was talking about? Be committed, have consistency, and be confident in what you're doing. That's how you become successful with a entrepreneurial mindset. Whether you're buying stocks, whether you're doing crypto, which is, which is really down the drain right now. But if you are committed, if you are, if you have the confidence that it will go back up, well, maybe now's the time to invest, right? Because everything is so low. Whatever you're doing, you need to plan ahead. You need to think about the repercussions of every single action you do. So if you have one idea, think of three or four different ways it can end so that you know the possibilities of where your investment is leading to, right? That's how you think like a business owner. That's how you think like an entrepreneur. If one idea has too many cons, don't do it. If one idea has several pros, but you can only choose one thing, which pro benefits you the most? Stick with that and then prioritize. Do the next pro, do the next pro, do the next pro. Make sure you're executing these ideas, these positive ideas that you're, 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 you plan to do. Do it today and not tomorrow. If it's physically impossible for you to do today, then make sure you plan for tomorrow. Make sure you, you have everything scheduled. And if you can build off of that, then you'll have an idea of what you're really worth. If you can follow all these plans and goals and reach these goals, then your self-worth will shoot right up. So when you feel like you've succeeded in the path you've done and the path you've gone through, ask yourself again, how much am I worth? And that number is going to be a significantly higher than where you first asked yourself today. All right. I hope you like that tip. Be sure to subscribe if you think it's valuable. Make sure you comment down below so I can read them. If you want to learn how to 
generate passive income, create that passive income with a with your own business, with if something that you own. Well, be sure to check out that link down below in the description. And I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for joining me in this session. I hope you learned some valuable tips and tricks to begin your affiliate marketing career. If you want to find out more about doing affiliate marketing the right way, consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video if you liked it, and hit the bell icon if to be notified when I upload a new video. For more tips, be sure to subscribe into my email list and get the 8-step affiliate marketing mastery guide for free. And I'll see you on the other side.